years ago today, there were celebrations outside the White House, among other places, on the successful completion of Operation Neptune Spear, the killing of Osama bin Laden. The book is now out, Killing the Killers, by Bill O'Reilly, back with us now. Uh, fascinating reporting. I thought what was wild was sort of how you dealt with the decision-making by both President Trump and President Obama through the years to authorize these missions, whether it was to go after al-Baghdadi by Trump, whether it was to go after bin Laden by President Obama. Differences you found between the two men. Okay, so uh, all viewers uh, watching us tonight, Leland, should know that you've been down some pretty mean streets in the Middle East. So I was uh, an anchor at Fox News. Leland was a Middle East correspondent. He knows what he's talking about. And uh, when he reads Killing the Killers, um, he will know that what I am reporting is mostly classified information. I could, I guess, go to prison theoretically, but I was able to get the information because National Security Advisors from Bush the Younger's administration through the end of Trump talked to me and told me exactly what happened in all of the episodes that we write about, beginning with Osama bin Laden's death, assassination, and ending with the debacle at the Kabul airport under Biden. We take you there, we put you in the room with bin Laden and the Navy SEALs. We show you exactly how bin Laden uh, died and his son died, and how al-Baghdadi got tracked and assassinated, and the same thing with Soleimani. It's the best reporting I've ever done in my career. I'm proud of this book. It's number four right now on Amazon. It hasn't been out 12 hours. So I think there's a hunger on the part yeah. of Americans in particular to know what their country is doing to keep them safe even today. Because this threat is now growing again in Afghanistan and Iraq. Did you ever come away with any evidence that the, the would-be terrorists were either deterred, threatened, thought twice about their actions because of the knowledge of the threat of what would happen to them by the United States? They're all cowards, all of them. Yeah. Um, bin Laden hid behind his wife. Al-Baghdadi hid behind his little kid, his little son. Soleimani was a brutal animal who was vaporized by a drone. The only thing they found of him was a finger with a ring on it. That's how they ID'd him. I have yeah. a picture of it in Killing the Killers. I, I, yeah. All of them are cowards. Uh, okay. they, they brutalize young women like Kayla Muller from Arizona. Yep. You know the story very well. Al-Baghdadi raped her, taunted her parents. Her parents cooperated with us. We saw the emails back and forth. ISIS and, uh, and the Mueller family in Arizona, ISIS demanding millions of dollars. It is a heartbreaking story, but it's also a story of righteous yeah. vengeance no, on the, the part of the United States. And believe and me, those terrorists fear us, and they should. They certainly should, and, and fear the professionals who do it. Um, when you and I were at Fox, for example, the, the documentary came out ab about the bin Laden raid. You had uh, Rob O'Neill there sort of touting his, he's the man who killed Osama bin Laden and spoke out of turn, violated the SEAL code and the like. Matt Bassinet uh, did the same thing. I talked to a, a good friend of mine, closely involved in ne Neptune Spear, very closely. Uh, yesterday, I said, hey, congratulations, 11 years. He wrote back, it recedes in the rearview mirror, but I was st it was still a moment in time. This weekend, I was at our daughter's final sports tournament of the season, a completely appropriate pedestrian way to spend the weekend. Hope you are well. Is there a difference, I got 30 seconds, between the ones who take credit and the quiet professionals like the one I talked to? Sure, I mean, everybody's personality is different. Um, we describe how these uh, missions were executed in the most professional manner by the American Special Forces. You'll be incredibly impressed, and you'll also be awed by the weaponry this yeah. country has. And the final thing is, Putin knows we have it. And that's a constraint on Putin. And maybe you bring me back in a week or so, and we'll talk about that.
It's a very good point. May, may go to one of the reasons some of the folks talk to you. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll be back with that. Bill, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.